many, many moons ago, all the way back in episode three, I think, four, something like that. The suggestion of one of you lovely people in the comment section, I added in the Witcher Trials mod, which through a combination of all sorts of alchemy, grasses and teas and soaps and everything you could possibly ever grow in RimWorld, we began work on brewing these rare tribal era potions that require a massive amount of effort to come up with what are effectively superpowers. But fate is a cruel mistress, of course. Our chosen hero, the mighty warrior Disaster, went through the trials, became the warrior of my hopes and dreams, and then had her spine shattered. But of course, in typical remote style, a finger curl on the monkey's paw. So instead of having her be our eternal colony protector, unburdened by age and the side effects of becoming an old person, I decided to set up a school in her name. The School of the Goose. I haven't built it yet. Although that guy's eager. Look at that little fella. Look at that little guy. Now I said during yesterday's episode that once Inigo and her unique skill set consisting of cooking, plants, medical, intellectual, a little bit of crafting, everything you need to make these potions, once she dies, that's it. We do no more. That is the end. And after months of growing, crafting, and preparing, we finally have two of the final potions. And my god, what a pain in the ass these Brew of the Elders are to craft. It doesn't make a big deal about these things uh, being so unnatural that even a Witcher likely wouldn't survive, which fills me with a lot of confidence, as you might imagine. I have 3,000 shale blocks from where I've had people working in the quarry. Anything that isn't cut from the quarry that's a block comes out as a chunk, and every chunk that comes out we've been turning into blocks. So we are drowning in this stuff after that raid yesterday, and I think it's time that we slap down some floors, we finish the uh, Castle of the Goose, School of the Goose. And while they work on the monstrous task of getting a floor laid in this place, would you look at that? Ungus has a growth woman. How you doing, Ungus? You only got a passion of mining. Wow, this kid has been thoroughly ignored. I'm so sorry, tiny Ungus. Fragile Nyctophobia or healthy or gun crazy? That's the one that gives like, yeah, minus 80% aiming time, but no accuracy. I think we'll just take healthy. That seems quite nice. But then more importantly, Mecha Nuggets Booze Axe Bungus, the final member of the Bungus Dynasty, potentially looking at this whole thing being wiped out, so we've got to be very careful. Artistic Melee Plants or Mining. I think we'll do Double Passion in Melee, have you start training up in that one. What about a little bit of... Oh my god, are you good at any of these? Not really. Our plants is okay. Resilient gives a lower incoming damage, higher pain shock threshold. That could be very good for Melee. Valiant is exactly the same. Wait. Oh, it's very similar, but it's not quite the same. Unhygienical biotic dull. I guess we go for Valiant, right? Because that is a slightly lower... Oh, no, it's the same pain shock threshold. Let's go for Resilient then. Fine. And now you get the fun task, my friend, of sitting in a room and learning about melee for the rest of your life. <laughs> so now that we're in the medieval era, we need to start making some more medieval clothes. Because we, we had a load of tribal wear. I cancelled it all because we're a bit past that. Um, coveralls? What does that do? Work speed plus 10%. Oh, that's not bad. I think we want to keep it simple for this level of the medieval era. Because we've only really just got into the medieval era. Oh, shit. That actually reminds me. We got... Oh, no. We actually got rustic furniture right at the end of yesterday. And what I'm desperately after is fucking steel. Please. I just need to know how to make steel. Do you know how much I'd be able to do with just a tiny little crumb of steel? Oh, for God's sake. Um, fine. Give me... Oh, we don't even need herbalism yields. We're already done with that now. Silk. Silk. Cloth, linen. Yeah, whatever. Fine. What clothes do you want for a medieval era? I, I mean, we could go for, like, gambeson and surcoats. That seems a little heavy for just day-to-day -day tasks for my civilians. Um... Sackcloth vest? None of this is going to work, so I'm getting bloody leather either. What if we have a little hybrid culture going here, right? What if we have coveralls for everybody? Because that's just kind of useful to have, like, one set of clothing. Covers everything up. You know, it seems like a natural progression on from tribal wear. What if we combine that with the Japanese aesthetic for all the Japanese mods we've got thrown in here? So all of this stuff. You know what? I'm just going to throw in a bunch of shit. Let them dress themselves. I'm not going to say wear specifically like this stuff right now. Do this. No, I'm just going to say put on whatever you want. Okay, if it's in the stockpile, if you want to wear it, go mad. Yes! Yes! I love textiles! <laughs> Fucking stupid game. <laughs> wow, I actually went too far into the real YouTuber aspect of things then, huh? Jesus. Let's go for a little bit of... Ooh... Parisian limbs are fun. These are kind of early era limbs that are as good and I think actually slightly better in some situations than your, obviously not the eye. You make it out of wood and gold, okay? But like the, the limbs are 
on par with your standard stuff, despite the fact they're, they're medieval. But they are very, very, very expensive to balance it. Honestly, I think I need that for the time being. What I need is <laughs> steel. <laughs> I need steel. I really do need some steel. Ooh, look at all of this stuff. Ronin Gasser, we've got some lovely rocks, wool, cottage hats, the finest of hats, bamboo fiber cloaks, and wizard hats. This is fun. We have a little mustard looking colony. You know, I've just thought about this. If we get Mecha, Nugget, Boozax, Bungus, and Dina into a relationship, the family tree goes back to being everybody related to Ungus. Because the uh the stench Cheshire cat child and then the uh stench gash child are horrible. Those are the only ones that aren't related to to Ungus in any way. So if we can bring that branch in, because even then, right, if 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 uh, Ungus, if Mecha Nugget, Ungus, Bungus, uh, Boozax Man marries Dina, even though Stench Cat isn't directly blood related, their his nephew or niece is still a Bungus. Jesus Christ, what am I doing? Here's what I need to do: uh, move on from these primitive work tables. For Christ's sake, it's b the year of our Lord 5504. We should be very medieval by now. So it's in a different tab. I always forget it. Oh, man, that looks cool as hell. Ooh. We got simple research benches, too, which are just little tiny research benches. But I think putting this down in here, that's nice. Lumber. Process war, war, war wood into thin planks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I fell in my mouth earlier, okay? I've been doing that a lot recently. Am I, get, am I old? What the hell's going on? Uh, Ninja Gear, Clan Forge weapons. Hey, you know what I like? Ooh. Recreation. Hello. I mean, I do need more recreation. We've got recreation kind of covered at this point. Hey, I'd really like bloody steel. I definitely want this research table front and center because it looks really, really nice. And then the bookshelves we can build with. Oh, shit. Whoa, what was the other bookshelf? Whoa, show me. We just need some cloth for that. I'm sure we could we could scrunch that together. Oh my god, it still uses the primitive tables as well. <laughs> why not? I mean, if it's uh, that's like bungus level technology, but if it's still relevant, why not build it? Flanked either side, I think we'll have the regular primitive research tables, and then we'll kind of just lock this bit off. I think that's better. Three researchers at a time is 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 quite intense still. For my advice, I think Mecha Nugget and uh, who is also another good melee character. It was Dina, and I mean, my God, look at Dina. She's twenty point eight nine melee. Ever since she's a child, I completely skipped over her education, right? And I just had her working in the school, sat there nonstop learning melee. That was it. That's been her entire life. Sixteen years solid of reading books about melee and swinging around a weapon. I mean, that coupled with the fact that bare arm sadist and good constitution gave six more melee. Technically, she only had fourteen right now, which seems a bit more reasonable for a sixteen-year-old. But she just got super, super lucky that she's like the ultimate melee character. I have to get you into a relationship with uh, Mecha Nugget Booze Axe Bungus, who I'm about to start their training now. So let's find you on the list, little Mecha. Oh, this is impossible, isn't it? <laughs> Where are you? Mecha Nugget Booze Axe Bungus. And then I'm going to say learning maximum priority. Everything else, let's just knock it on the head. Very good at. Wow, you were very good at crafting already. Say you're only tiny baby child. Oh, little child. Go, little child. Sing. Sing your melee song. Look at him go. Oh my god. If only Chuck could see this. She was the real psychopath. What are you wearing? <laughs> I don't think that quite works there. Oh my god, look at your hat. Oh, that looks amazing. And with tabletop games, that means we can throw down basically recreation in whatever room we want, right? Anywhere with a table. Clan Forge weapons are fun. Uh, You know what I would like, though? Steel? Steel would be good. Kids heard of steel before. What the fuck am I missing for steel? Steel. Steel. Is there something beforehand that I don't have? No. No, we have it. Maybe we need the alchemy research bench. Maybe we actually need that to uncover steel alloying tar and gunpowder. Clearly, it's a prerequisite, but it might also be a limitation. And I queued up those massive Daikyu bows because, you know, after that raid yesterday, I was a little disappointed in the Pharaohs. They're good on range, but kind of shit on damage. These things, though, are enormous and hit very, very hard indeed. So let's start swapping our people out. A good quality is an ideal, but you know what? I'll just take what we can get for the timing. Even a good quality one is going to be better than the Pharaoh. Causing a social fight because of different ideologies. Boom. Get roxed. So this needed 25 basic components. Oh my god, let's hope that they don't also require steel. Um, oh god, I don't need that many. Thank you. 25. What do they require? Steel ingots. Oh shit. How do I how do I get more steel ingots if I need steel ingots to get the research to get steel ingots? You understand my you understand what I'm saying? You understand my problem? 
<laughs> we might have to... Uh, well, first, is there any more steel slag? Ten more. That genuinely might be enough to get us through. Let's make sure everything else is suspended so we're not accidentally blasting that away on, like, armor and weapons and stuff like that. Our gates aren't bloody big enough for... Care Morhen, the name of our castle, where we're going to have the goose school. You throw down like these little gates, maybe a couple of those instead, something like that. It's not perfect. I did, I did envision an enormous gate covering the entrance, but this might be the best we've got, sadly. I will admit, I'm trying to keep the aesthetic a little bit consistent, right? I could just build this whole thing out of fucking bamboo, but that would look just god awful. So I'm using a load of dark wood, and every time we chop down one of these big old dark wood trees, we get a shitload of amber. And we've got, like, a shitload of amber right now. You can see where I've been chopping down all the trees absolutely everywhere. In fact, there's loads of dark wood. You're just not hauling it. What's wrong with you people? It's been me destroying the environment. Turns out we don't need any more wood. Well, to be fair, we might. I've put down a lot of floors, and they're like six dark wood each. Only the best for goose school. <laughs> How do you change statue graphics? Am I going to have to get vanilla textures expanded for this one? Because that's just, that's a donkey. Which is a kind of a goose. You, hear me out here. You take those ears away and you give it wings. That's just a goose. That just looks exactly like a goose. Sadly though, I do want a goose. So I'm willing to sit through the 15 minutes of loading to change that to a goose. Beg and pray that this works. Because if this doesn't, I'm all out of ideas. In the courtyard. Oh, this is a small sculpture. We'll put it on either side of the door then. That's fine. On Boozax. Look at his little legs carrying him across the entire map to deliver. Goose statue. It's facing the wrong way. Hold on. Goose statue. Change graphic. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Hang on. It's not steel that's the limiting factor. It's bloody cloth. Uh. <laughs> Paying attention to the wrong bloody thing. How do I get cloth? This is on Rimworld. There's no cotton here. There's no cotton here. Is there cotton? Did I add cotton back? Uh, no. Um, if we type in cloth. Oh, shit. Okay, don't, don't panic. Don't panic. I'll figure something out. I'm resourceful. Look, look, they've already beat me to it. They're so big brain, these modders. Weave cloth from other fabrics. We're going to do with hemp or linen cloth. I don't know how we make linen cloth, and I certainly don't know how we make hemp, officer. What's this growing? Hempane or kale? No, no, no. We moved on. We've moved on. Uh, that's it. We're not, we're not doing the whole apothecary stuff anymore. Well, we might, but I'll do it in planters, and we'll do it specifically for... Actually, let's type in hemp, see what comes up. Is it just like, is it actually just smoke leaf? No. L linen? Shit, I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm sorry to say it, we may have to re-enable cotton, but this is on Rimworld. This is on Rimworld. This isn't how this is supposed to go down. If I can find out how to grow hemp, is it is it legitimately just smoke leaf? Marriage is on. Who is it? Ooh, it's Best Ear and Sam. Hey, congratulations. Good. Oh, God damn, these outfits are cool. I'm glad I just went with, like, random outfits. Take whatever the hell you want. We haven't even finished crafting half of it yet. Two hours later. You're so right, French narrator. That did take a very, very long time. Castle Goose. Or what is it calling it? Uh, Castle Moorhen? Because then it's always a, a joke about the Care, care Moorhen. There you go. I, I remembered it. I'm going to put a sign down for my own benefit so I don't forget what I named this castle. Slab sign. Ooh, I like that a lot. Um, can we put that somewhere that makes that makes sense? Oh, whatever, that'll do. That'll do. That's fine. Right there. Ground plaque. Ooh, that's even cooler. Let's slap that right in the middle of the two door frames, which is there. Oh, steel ingots, you son of a bitch. You know what we could do? Our uh, road directions. That's always good. So we would say this way to Castle Moorhen, and then this way to... The rest of the world. We are going to have to divide this up into subsections as well. The rooms aren't just going to be laid out like this. So I like the idea of this being a kind of grand hall. I guess we could have the kitchen cut off kind of across here. That could be all right. We could have the hall running horizontally like that direction. That seems good. Like tables leading up to like some maybe some big grand table over there. Or maybe the grand table over here because that's backing on to what will be Boozax's workshop. And actually what I was thinking attached to the workshop, we probably want an armory. And you know what? I think a massive armory for our goose school is, is kind of a cool idea. So why don't we do something like that? What do you think? Like training, alchemy maybe in this room. This could all be bedrooms and living areas. And then, of course, training outside too. Yeah, bedrooms and living areas down here is good. We need a master bedroom for Boozax and Disaster. So that can be this one. Maybe a main corridor running up and around here. I guess we'll have a guest room up in Care Morhen, just in case we have anyone of value. Maybe if we do a quest where we have to take in a noble or whatever, keeping them up here would obviously make the most sense because then they're arguably in the safest place in the entire colony. To be fair, though, raids can technically spawn in like just here. It connects up to the outside of the map. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't happy with my base aesthetic so far. You know, it's hard to build a... 
I, I think it's harder to build a nicer looking base when you're trying to evolve it over, you know, from like pre-tribal through to medieval. I, I, it takes a little more effort. This though, this is coming along nicely. And speaking of which, Ongus is also coming along nicely. You are a good child. You're a good child. You got good shooting, which wasn't really what I was after, but that's okay, little Ungus. Poor constitution is terrible. Feeble is terrible. Heat tolerant is actually not terrible. And then energetic. Global work speed up by 20%. Jesus. Oh, my God. Congenital analgesia. So you feel no psychic sensitivity. That's fine. Poor hygiene, so you get food poison chance. But you're healthy, which... Oh, I was hoping that lowered food poison chance. Apparently not. You're also... Oh. You're nearsighted as well, you little shit. But your only passion is in shooting. How has this happened twice in a row? So we've got our basic bedrooms for our goosey witches. We've got a little learning area here. This is kind of all the, again, the, the, the living area, so to speak. Then we'll have the grand hall here. This might, I might turn into like a library plus kind of alchemy related stuff. A little bit of, little bit of spooky magic. We can divide this up in like three or four rooms if needs be. This is going to be, again, kitchen, food, storage. Maybe we'll throw down a few planters out in this section. I specifically left this uh, as an outdoor zone. I think this is going to look really nice. I think it's probably going to take another 300 years to build, but it looks lovely. I am trying to combine a few different aesthetics here, too. So we've got the dark wood, the shale, but I'm also using a lot of bamboo accents. And then these are lovely little wall box lanterns. They're not animated like torches, so they don't have a horrible impact on rendering, especially when you built a thousand of them. But this should keep it nice and bright. And I think it ties it all nicely together, especially like every aesthetic we've got in the town all in one big building. It's flax we need. Flax, flax, flax. Tell me we can craft. Ah, oh, flax flower or flax flax? I think we just need flax flax. Well, another 40 years have passed and we finished one more room. Well, no, we haven't really, have we? We've got a guest room now. That's nice. That also isn't isn't really finished. In the background, I've been training up the next upcoming generation. Uh, Mecha Nugget Boozax Bungus, 7.12 melee. Actually not terrible. Ungus, I don't know what to do with, I'll be honest. Shooting is totally pointless, of course, when you're nearsighted. I might just start training them in mining and be done with it. Ugh, I don't really have a choice though, because you haven't got a passion for anything else. Dina, like unstoppable. I might actually start training her up in, in medical next. And then Stench Cat absolutely knocked it out of the park with construction. Remember how I said I wasn't going to bother training them at all and just let them build? That worked out pretty well. Believe it or not, we've had a lot to build. Andrea Schmidt is... <laughs> I really should do something with you. You just kind of turned up and I left you to it. Oh, it's so hideous, isn't it? I had to say, but if we need that fancy research lab for steel, we're probably not getting it today because this is... We don't need it. We don't need it at all. I could cry as sad... Happy tear. I thought I needed all this shit to be able to uh, make the lab to then research deal. No, no, no. You just use your brain power. What if thinking spot, but desk? This is why we need the pop-up saying, congratulations, you're medieval. Because we finally got frigging steel. I can do everything I've ever dreamed of. Like, for example, carrots. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now that you're 16. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Romance, Dina. We have to do it. It links together the two major families of the settlement, for better or worse. <laughs> Dina! Dina, my friend, where are you? You're wearing those fucking hats. You're wearing those hats that covers up your beautiful, beautiful, hideous, goddamn awful faces. Thank Christ for those hats. Dina, please stand still. I think, you, I think you've got a faster moving perk, and poor Mecha Nugget Boozax Bungus can't keep up with you. This is a cat and mouse chase. This is it. Yes! Yes! The Boozax Bungus Dynasty lives on, my friends. Lives for another day, unless they get married. And of course, Mecha Nugget takes Dina's last name as Stenchfling, at which point Stench has taken over. Maybe he is King Stench. Why is the castle so nice compared to everything else I've built this time? It's this wall. It makes it look like shit. Maybe I'll tear it down. I'm not tearing it down. I spent 40 years building that. Ooh. We should sippy the bruise. I forgot about that. Then we have like a ceremony, a healing ceremony. And then after that's complete, we'll sippy the bruise in celebration. I love your little boaty hat disaster. That's nice. Oh my God, so many people have put on those Ronin Gasser. Oh, we're like half hood, half, half Ronin Gasser at this point. We got like a fashion rivalry. Now we've completed that. Everybody needs to hang around. So I'm gonna just like lock the doors. You have to stay and witness this. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Hey, what part of locked the doors didn't you hear? Get back in there. Why are you, Why were they allowed to leave? What? That's not how doors work. 
Amazing. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. I'll just, I'll just draft you up and you can you can stand and watch the old-fashioned way. I think first things first, disaster, my friend. No, we have to queue it up as a surgery, you moron. I think first things first, disaster, my friend, you get the first trial. She is the strongest and most powerful. She has all the right genetics for this. Good constitution, good resilience, good melee, and a powerful lady all round. Live, damn you. If she dies from this, I would be so upset. But then I guess venerable old Boozax up in the mountain crafting weapons is also cool. I think she's fine. I think she's totally fine. Trial of the Elders. There it is. Oh my god. It's made her uglier, but she learns twice as fast. Oh Jesus, look at all this stuff. Hearing plus 50%, sight plus 80%. So even though she had... Oh! I was going to say, even though she had cataracts, but they're gone. Oh, I mean, had cataracts. Yeah, that's actually right. Ah, oh, you thought I said word wrong, but actually I said word right. Not that I realized until afterwards. Okay, and you had nothing wrong anyway. I was going to say maybe we could test it as like a like a, a cure-all. Um, what is it called? The trial of something? Elders. Elders, that's it. What? What? Where's the other? What's wrong? We can't administer the other one? Why? He straight up can't administer the other one to... Oh, there it is. Weird. I wonder what the hell was going on with that then. Boozax. Boozax, my friend, come lie down. I mean, people said it's a 50% chance of failure. We've done potentially now six without any failures. So I think it's probably more safe to assume it's just straight up not working as intended. <laughs> you know, it's a very, very old mod that's been continued and then continued again. So I think it's fairly safe to say. Oh, he did, he did pass it. Oh, look at that. Forgotten practices were once performed on the witches. You can uncover these secrets and pay the price. There is no price paid. That cures basically everything. It, it stops drug overdoses. Oh, my God. Well, does it stop drug overdoses? Because supposedly it was supposed to stop uh, cataracts, but that didn't work. Have I been calling them cataphracts this entire time? Oops. Now that we can alloy steel, which, by the way, is uh, coal and iron. How do I alloy steel? Alloy steel. Here we are. Refine iron ingots into steel ingots. Oh, you, you just straight up smelt the ironing that's into steel. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's do that then. Um, luckily, I've already been refining into ironing ingots, so that worked out pretty bloody well, didn't it? Right, let's set that one to the top, and then, in theory, all we need to do is take some good crafter. Let's take Cower. Cower's a good crafter. And then you refine. And oh my god, we're in a whole new era. Holy shit. Now I can make everything. We can make all the medieval components we need to make that fancy research bench for in here. I can also make the arcane crafting set, which is something I've been wanting to do for bloody ages. Ever since I floated that idea of Ungus's obsession with the amber that I was never, ever able to follow up on, because this, this is the, you know, the earliest we've been able to get this stuff. This is nice. You can finally finish Ungus's legacy. We know that, of course, it was just a caveman excited by shiny rock. Who isn't excited by shiny rock, though? Ooh. Boozak's got confusion. It's because of the anesthetic, though, not because of the trial. I hope there's not going to be any side effects, because that would suck. I will admit, I put more stock in him being an important character than I did with Disaster. Because, again, he's going to be the old man in the in the forge up in the mountains, which I think is kind of fun. Anybody can train people to do melee, right? And not to shit all over Disaster's achievements a little bit too much. Okay, what else have we got here? Arcane lighting. Again, very fun. We need the arcane bench first. Royal architecture. Oh, let's re-roll. <gasps> Manganel. Oh, my God. We can finish Chuck Rock's legacy as well. Oh! Hold on. Holy shit. This is what I was after right here. Amber Grimoire. Amber Longsword, Amber Spear, Amber Staff, Amber Hammer, Catacombs. Oh, I love this mod so much because it's got so much cool stuff with it. That would be something we could build maybe secretly in the mountains behind Goose School, behind Care Morhen. Uh, Carrier Birds, a Lux Deep Vein Mineshaft. Oh, shit. Oh, we're really getting into it now. Okay, let's go Arcane Weapons. Man, we're on the precipice of so much cool stuff. I feel like I've been saying that forever, but we've already, like, we've had cool stuff before, like the Trials. This is just like, even more cool stuff. I saw something really cool that would fit in here. There it is. The, the war table. Rim of war. Not that we can build it because we haven't got any linen yet. Give it a moment, okay? We've got it planted now, so that'll just, it'll just take its time. Because it's 304 flax. I, you know what? I'm going to plant a second field of it. Because I was about to say, I don't think we're going to need any more flax beyond that. But no, we almost certainly are. Because that's, I think, our only way to get cotton as well. Oh my god, did I see that? Ooh! 
Neutro flowers. A beautiful yellow orange flower used to make neutramine. Oh my god. Um, can I float an idea that we, we plant the flax here and then we swap that out for neutro flower? Keep that inside the wall because that's obviously very, very, very valuable. With that, especially in the laser areas, we can do some really crazy stuff with it. What was it we needed for the medicine? You know, the tree seed, tree seed herbal medicine, because that was really good. We need yarrow and aloe, so we'll keep growing that as well. I guess I'll swap all these side gardening boxes for that. We need to drop a shitload more bamboo for the last of the furniture over here in Cam Moorhen. Then we've also got the Roxwell armchairs, which I thought was lovely. It's like a little sitting area. Very expensive stuff. I'm not sure what to do with the rest of this room, so I'm, I'm open to suggestions on that front. But then we want a dedicated kitchen up here. Final thing we've got to get done today, no matter what, is a, a mountain forge for old man Boozak so we can start working on these arcane weapons. So let's slap down... Damn, maybe like front and center have the proper forge. I think that's pretty good. There it is. I think tomorrow's job for sure. Arcane weapons. And I'm not sure... I'm, I, I think I'm, I'm happy to give the rest of the colony arcane weapons and then we keep the witcher gear for... Boozax and Disaster. That seems pretty good. Oh my god, we got Carrier Birds again. Oh, but then there's also Defense Platforms. Shit. Uh, give me the birds. Give me the birds. Because that unlocks the ability to... I suppose we've already got the ability to trade with others, but the, the, the Mine Shaft is pretty nice. Something called a Prospecting Desk as well. Help record and collect data on the local environment to search for buried resources. Oh, it's a ground penetrating scanner. Hey. Oh, shit. And finally... The last person, Ungus, natural genius. Ooh, I mean, the psychic sensitivity is a bit pointless. You're, you have a higher mental break threshold. That's fine. It's not massively impactful, I suppose. 50% extra learning speed is pretty nice. I, I really did fail this kid. This kid had nothing good going on in his life. We, we can fix that, though. That's, that's definitely redeemable. Let's set learning to be your highest priority. Drop everything else down and just let you sit there and... Learn about shooting. Worst case scenario, we stick you in the quarry all day, every day, and you slowly pick up a mining skill. Ooh, oh, I accidentally forgot to cancel the tree designation. <laughs> oh, shit. How much of that did I... Oh. Well, these things happen, don't they? Got a lot of stuff still to do on the castle. It goes beyond kind of finishing touches, like throwing down these borders, literally just for aesthetics and crap like that. The arcane table I've queued up, but again, it is 20 basic components. We are going to have to refine a tremendous amount of steel. Actually, how are we doing on that front? Steel. There's so many resources. Easier just to look at this. Oh, 41. Absolutely massive. It's actually iron that we're lacking. Okay, so maybe we flip the quarry back over to... Oh, yeah, but we're out of blocks too. Shit. Oh, my God. Okay, well, we'll, we'll figure out a way to solve this problem, I'm sure, eventually. I, I mean, there's apparently some sort of deep driller, medieval deep driller, so we can work with that. We haven't got any medieval components either because we still need the cloth. So we're kind of, kind of dead in the water right now, admittedly. Pretty much just totally stalled. When did we get those? Oh my god, I had no idea we've got these. We've, we've unlocked castle towers. Look at that. They're just they're just towers, okay? I think they are mostly decorative. I think some of them have, um, like, turrets in, basically. And then they can light up, too. I'll have to check the mod settings again. But this is kind of funky. I could swap out all my crappy corners for... This might make the wall look better. Because I really, really do not like the wall. But actually having those towers will probably add a bit of visual depth. And in fact, I could just pepper them along, like, bits of the wall anyway. Oh, man, that will look way nicer. Let's put it on the to-do list then. So, in terms of today, steel, done, happy. Trebuchet's a while out, but we can build mangonels. So that's kind of done. Finish School of Goose. It's going to take a while, but I'm going to take it off because it's all queued up, right? Rustic furniture. I've upgraded some bits and bobs here. What we want to do is castle walls and arcane weapons. We haven't had another raid. I wanted to test out these Yumi bows, but no one's bloody turned up since. It's a weird thing to complain about, but hopefully tomorrow we'll get some bloodthirsty pirates turning up so I can shoot some people. There's one other thing I've got to mention. This colony, unsurprisingly, is full of old ass people. You might think, oh, but Boozax is at the top. He's 81. No, no, no. I just moved Boozax and Bungus at the top because they're, uh, you know, kind of the most important. The colony is old. Like, Gur is 83. Inigo, 74. Chicken Robo, 70. I think everybody above Gash, everybody above Gash is 60 plus. Even then, like, Stench is 54. Sam is 44. Andrea, the, the jellyfish I knew, I still haven't renamed, 33? Like, we've got the, th the four kids there. And then other than that, everybody's bloody ancient. They're ancient, and more importantly, they are old and they are getting frail. Like, a lot of them have... Oh, to be fair, Inigo's, like, still cracking on. Chicken Robo, Catafrax. So, ca 
Cataracts, not cataphracts. One, one is not great to have in your eye. The other is arguably far worse. Ruthless sphincter who lives in a society who I've mocked her entire life so she's putting a big hat so I can't laugh at her makeup. Destroyed lung, a bad back. Like these people are not capable of fighting anymore. So many of them have just become old and frail. Armani can't even move anymore. But to be fair, she was a horrifying, like, cancer beast. Ugh. But because of all this, the second she was hit with frail, that's it. She's down and she's she's out for good. I didn't even get a chance to have a look at her powers. <laughs> what I'm getting at is we're in a bit of a shitty situation. The old people are living too long. So maybe I could do some tweaks because I do feel a bit weird about them living to like 80 given that we're in kind of like medieval times or like early medieval times. Uh, people, I, I bring this up every time. People always say, well, that's because of infant mortality. Except you look it up and you realize like even with infant mortality factored out, you were lucky to live past 50. Don't think you're so big brain because you parroted something you heard on YouTube. It just absolutely disgusts me. So anyway, you're going to have to trust me on that one that that's right. Me, a guy on YouTube. Hey! Thanks for watching. I'm very excited for Castle Moorhen for our Goose School and our Gooseborn trainees. I think it's going to be amazing when it's done. I'm always loath to start big building projects, especially in the Generation Series where everyone's aging so fast. Not only do I not get much content out of it because it's just building and cutting trees and quarry work all day, but it does also skip a lot of our characters' lifespans. I think every character that we have had, though, have, have lived a pretty decent life. You know, they all got into relationships to some extent and had some interesting twists and turns here and there. The new generation, though, we're going to have like four characters if we're not careful. So we've got to be very, very cautious about making sure people are having Babby be formed. Thank you in the meantime, of course, the executive producer. Thank you in the meantime, of course, the executive producer patrons for allowing this series to exist in the first place is what I was trying to say. Thank you to Tanya Degurachaf, Zarko Yanev, Ziggy, Fluffy Prawn, Twee Panda, Random Fur, Duck Muck88, Boop Eight, Grebe, You Tyrant95, Snowy, Deathcore Hippie, Brotmit Toast, Vox Dei, Jim Stevenson, Grief. Pomlord, Vonorath, Good Doggo, Sajuk 1986, Caius, Heathen, Ramaman 138, Galupo, Zevin Wolf, Amu, Andrew Robashord, O oh, Trash Panda, and Waffles and Whiskey for their support the executive producer tiers today over on the Patreon. Thank you for bearing with me as well, uh, along with these next couple of days while I'm pre recording. Hopefully back to normal Monday, but again, can't guarantee because like trains might do be delayed and crap like that. You know how it is with any sort of movement in the UK that is permitted by the government. Thank you as well to David Van Diepen, Pumbly, Butch, Werewolf, Punky Roo, Jason, Ganser, Corrupt Racer, Elliot Sandage, Rave Pirate, James, Chris Greeb, Shadow Blade, Mad Maven, Cookie Girl 17, Master Shredder, and Better Mass. 